boy, no need to skip ahead. I'm gonna get right into it. If I sound dead, it's because it is really late. So I do apologize. Right, so you wanna know how to get the Warfare or Wayfarer. I don't even know what it's called. People are calling it a different bunch of things. But what you wanna do first is, um, and I wasn't even bothered to check. I don't really care that much. You wanna get to Checkpoint Rest Town. If you don't know how to get to Checkpoint Rest Town, you wanna fast travel to, you'll get to the main capital city as you do when you play the game or play the tutorial. And over there, there is a, um, a West Oxcar station that it will cost like 200 and that'll take you straight down here. Granted, if there's no interruption. Next, when you're here, you just want to go along this back alley here. Not even an alley, but whatever. To <laughs> buy these houses and speak to this old man. When you speak to him, uh, you want to buy this mask of him. And once you buy that lion-looking mask, you're good to go. Now, the next step is that you want to get to Back Patrol. If you don't know how to get to Back Patrol, um, I do have a video on my channel. It is like two minutes long. It's super quick. So if you don't have a clue on how to get there, I'm not going to say it now just to save time in this video and not to make this video any longer. Right, and once you're in the capital in Back Patrol, you want to get to this location I'm going to show you guys on the map. It's like up top. Once you're here, there'll be some guards that tell you to go away. It's private land, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Next thing you want to do is, right, what you want to do is then put on the mask and, uh, yeah, just, just pick up these bags. Um, no idea why it's not letting me. Talk to him, maybe, first thing. Okay, great, interesting, amazing. Don't know why it's not working. Okay, I think I've got an idea. Um, yeah, okay, no man, I was being stupid. I was hoping that there was gonna be like a press B button, but you just grab it like you grab anything else in this game. Never mind, actually. If you made the same mistake I did, then do let me know. And then yeah, let's just release it. Right, after you talk to him, he should sell. The opportunity to buy these liquors are available, and this is what you're gonna need to give to the warfare. So you wanna um, buy three of them. He's gonna buy, he's gonna want three of you, so make sure you get three. Quite expensive, actually, if you ask me. Um, after you buy it, there could be guards at the door and stuff, like, and you might have to have like a little fighting scene and stuff. But if you don't, then I guess you're all good to go. Right, so next up is actually getting to where the wharf arrow is. So you want to take the exit that's in front of Batal, where the big uh, bridge looking thing is, and go down this way. Um, if you go ahead towards this way, there's going to be like a door and you can't actually get here. I know it seems quicker to take this path, but of course they're not going to make it easy for you and they're going to make you suffer, so that's why you can't go through this way. Believe it or not, I even tried, after I was here, I tried to make my way back around here to get back into Batal, and of course the door wouldn't open from the other side either. I thought there was like a lock on the other side that I need to open it. There isn't, so don't try that either. If you guys know how to open this door that's like blocked around here, please do let me know. That really did annoy me. Right, yeah, you're going to just go along this part and then go, there's going to be like a cave here. It is really annoying. One of the biggest caves I've been in. A uh, few bosses along the way, uh, but yeah, you'll make it. And where you want to go to is, uh, you want to go along here and come to right here. There's this spring section and he's the, the guys around here. I'll show you anyway once we get there, but also funny enough, the magic archer, um, you can also unlock that at the same time because uh, the magic archer's quest is going to be right here and you're going to, the magic archer quest, I don't want to ruin it, but they're going to want you to go to literally the exact same location where this guy is, like literally the exact same look, like side by side. So, right. And once you've figured your way out of that cave, um, just, this is just, just for those of you that want to do the, um, the magic archer quest again. as well. You'll find yourself along this area and just go where I go. Now, unfortunately, I already did the quest, but you'll find a, like a, um, a dwarf here and he'll be like injured and stuff. You need to offer to help him. Once you offer to help him, um, you might need to carry him as well. And you're going to just carry him literally just around this area here. He'll have his house here. That is where you're going to see the magic archer elf, the lady, his wife. And the dwarf is going to basically be in pain again, speak to him again, speak to the wife again until they give you like another quest. The dwarf is going to want to go to the hot springs where the warfare is, which is just here, I believe. And literally the warfare is just standing right outside that area as well. So yeah, if you didn't do it, then I'd highly recommend doing them both together. There isn't really much to say about that elf quest uh, to do the magic archer. Honestly, it's pretty straightforward. Just escort the elf to the location he wants to go to, and that's about it. As far as how dangerous it is, uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> it's kind of annoying too. He is going to keep saying, oh, like, can you slow down a bit? Can you slow down a bit? Can you slow down a bit? But that's for the most part, like, it's pretty straightforward. Now, after I delivered the dwarf to the hot springs, you're supposed to talk to the elf again, his wife. And after she thanks you and gives you the magic archer vocation, you're supposed to talk to her right again after she stops speaking to you to then get the ultimate ability for the magic archer. Unfortunately, I didn't get it and my game was bugged out. If you're in the same shoes as me, stay tuned to the channel because I'm uploading a guide on how you can get the ultimate. If she doesn't give it to you right then and there. I don't know, hopefully this guide isn't too hard. I know I don't really show much on how to get to places. Honestly, it's just pretty straightforward. You, you know, there's not really any blockage or anything. The only place that there's actually a blockage is this door right here. And in terms of actually showing how to get through the cave, I'd rather not spoil anything for you. Whoa, who's this baddie here? 
I was like, that's a girl, right? I was like, I wasn't sure at one point it did look like a guy, so I wasn't too sure. Dude, what the fuck? Right, and once you enter this, what the fuck? Bro, why is there always something going on in this town, man? The first time you come here, you're going to be attacked by, like, hobgoblins. Uh, right, once you enter this town, um, you want to escort the dwarf up here. He's going to come around here. Around here is where you should be getting attacked. There's also a... The best bowl for the magic archer, um, if you're wondering, is inside the shop here as well. It's the one that I have, the one that I'm using right now. At least I think it's the best. Obviously, it's not fully upgraded yet. Um, and then, yeah, there's an in here you could save. You could do like a hard save here as well. Right, just go up this ladder and then there's going to be minerals on your left and right. If you're bothered to mine it, mine it. Straight ahead is the guy who gives you the warfare uh, vocation. And when you're here with the dwarf, if you bring him here, the quest will be done. His wife will come around this corner here, tell you, Oh yeah, thank you, I thought you was gonna blah blah blah, I didn't really believe in you, yada yada, here's the enchantment. Now let's get back to why I actually intended to make this video, the actual warf error. I love how this changed to a guide on how to get both. <laughs> Honestly, that really wasn't my intention. I take it this video is gonna go on for longer than I expected. And if you speak to him, he's gonna say, offer him some nuke nicker. And there you go. And great. He's gonna give you a rotten boiled egg. This guy only just gives you rotten, bo <laughs> rotten boiled eggs, honestly. Give him some more liquor. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna give it one by one just in case the game glitches or bugs out. And then at this point, he's gonna tell you that he was a former Arisen too. Yada yada yada. And there you go. You have unlocked the new Warfare of Vocation. And he gave it to me straight away. The ultimate for the skill. So, wonderful. Well, that's been my guide. I know it's been a horrible mess, but. <laughs> Like I said, it wasn't really my plan. But you guys know what to do. Show the love, show the support. If there's anything else I can do for you guys or clarify anything else, do let me know. But honestly, the, both of them are quite simple. Just get the liquor, get to here. And that's about it. <laughs> there's not really much to it. That does bring me to the end of the video, guys. Also on my channel, there's a few other lookalikes, like my boy Gandalf here. The funny thing about this female character that I created was that someone else, another YouTuber, created a beautiful female character creation and they uploaded it to YouTube. However, they were asking for money to show how to make it and that pissed me off, so I made my own very similar version to it. It's free and it's on my channel for those of you that are interested. I think I covered everything. If I did say something wrong or if I did miss out on anything, please do let me know. This is my first Dragon's Dogma game and I am new to the game, but that is it for me. You guys know what to do. Show the love, show the support. Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys later. Hello there. I saw you there, she is. Look, let me ask if. There you go, now she gave it. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the heck? <laughs> I wish I could show you, look, like, I completely. Oh man. <laughs> I got, I'm, I'm almost max level as the magic archer, like I came here before she didn't give it and now she gives it, man. <laughs>